hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we will learn to create a text animation using css here on my computer screen you can see an animation that reveals the text character one by one so this is the text reveal animation using css we will also create one more animation which is text background animation here you can see one text with only a stroke, there is no background color for the text and the background color comes in the text from the left side to the right side. Then it removes the background color with backward animation. We will create this animated text using only HTML and CSS. So before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials. Now let's start this video. Here we have this folder and in this folder you can see one HTML file, one CSS file and we have another folder called images and in this one you can see one background image and one logo. You can find this image download link in the video description. Let me open this code file with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure. And this one is the CSS file where I have added the CSS that will be applicable for all the HTML elements. Here we have the link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we will add code in the body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name hero. And we will add the CSS for this one to design this div. For this div we will add the width and height. Then we will add the background image. In this background image we will add the linear gradient color. So here we will add this black color with 0.6 opacity. Let's add it again for the second color and after that we will add one image. So we will add URL and image file path. So there will be a dark layer on the image. After that we will add the background size and background position and position relative. After adding this open this HTML file with any web browser so you can see this image in the background and there is dark layer on this image. Let me close this browser and come back to the HTML file. We will open the browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Servers. It will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. Now let's come back and here in this tip we will create the navigation bar. So first we will create one nav tag and in this one there will be one logo. So we will add the img tag and file path of the logo. Then we will add the class name logo. After that we will add some link text. So here we will add ul, li and a. In this a tag we will add the link text. It is home. Just duplicate it and change these link text. So the second one is explore, then places, then next one is about and at the last we will add contact. After that you can see the logo and link on the web page. Next we have to align it side by side. So let's come back and we will add the CSS for the snap tag. So write the snap tag here. Here we will add the position absolute top 0 and left 0 so it will be at the top. Then we will add the width it will be 100% and we will add a space so we will add the padding. Then we will add display flex align item center justify content. After adding this you can see this logo in the left side and the menu links on the right side because we have added the justify content space between. Now we will decrease the size for the logo so let's come back and here we will add nav.logo. So we will decrease the width it will be 120 pixel. You can see the perfect size for the logo next we will design the links which is in the right side so it is in the ul, li and a tag. So come back and here we will add nav and in this nav we have the ul, li. So here we will add display inline block and list style none. So it will be in this horizontal line and there will be no bullets then we will add some space with the margin again write this and here we have the a tag so for this a tag first we will remove the text decoration it will remove the underline then we will change the color so it looks good so we have added the content in the navigation bar next we will add one title in the center of the web page so after this nav tag here we will add one text in h1 so the text is Thailand and here we will add the class name title. Now we have to change the position of this text. So just come back and copy this class name, write it here in this CSS file. So first we will add the position absolute. Here we will add 50% and 50% top and left. Then transform 
minus 50 and minus 50 percent so it will be in the center of the web page like this next we have to change the color and increase the font size so again come back and in this title we will increase the font size so you can see the increased font size for this title text which is in the center next we will add the stroke so here we will add webkit text stroke it will be for one pixel and white color so now you can see the white color of a stroke around each character of this text now come back and here we will add color transparent so there will be no background color in the text you can see the background color is transparent we have only a stroke in this text next we will add the background color using this background image and here we will add the linear gradient and in this one we will add two color so it will be same white color triple f and triple f after that we will add background repeat no repeat again come back to the website you can see this white box here next we have to display this white color only inside the text for that in this title we will add webkit background clip so the background clip will be text after adding this you will see the white color inside only the text like this next we have to move this background color so for that we will come back to the css file again and here we will add the background position so this background position will move the background color so we will add minus 200 pixel and 0 so it will move in the left side so you can see it moved left side by 200 pixel let's increase it minus 500 so now you can see it is here let's increase it further and we will make it 750 pixel and after that you can see the complete text is transparent we don't have the background next we have to move this background color through animation so here we will add the animation any name we will add the animation name back color it will be for five second linear and infinite then we will add the keyframes for this animation we will define this animation so here we will add 100 percent at 100 percent it should move the background position so we will add the background position which is default 0 and 0 earlier it will be minus 750 pixel and at 100 percent it will be 0 0 so it is moving right side right now you can see this animation is only moving forward so we have to add the animation backward also so here we will add alternate in this animation we have added alternate now again come back to the website you can see it will go forward then it will come backward also so this is how this background color is moving in the text and then it removes the background color one by one from each character so this animation is looking good next we will remove the stroke here we have the stroke so let's comment it or you can delete it after commenting this line again come back to the website and here you can see there is no stroke color and we don't have the text it display the text character one by one from the left side to the right side and then it removes the text from the right side to the left side that is backward so we have added two types of text animation i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video